1.29 it is a magical tool to reduce scratch work and finger counting it increases concentration it helps in reducing silly mistakes urdhva tirbhyam urdhva tirbhyam is a general formula applicable to all cases of multiplication and also in the division of a large number by another large number it means vertically and crosswise using vertically and crosswise you do not need to do the multiplication tables beyond 5 multiplied by 5 suppose you need 8 multiplied by 7 8 is 2 below 10 and 7 is 3 below 10 think of it like this the answer is 56 the diagram below shows how you get it you subtract crosswise 8 minus 3 or 7 minus 2 to get 5 the first figure of the answer and you multiply vertically 2 multiplied by 3 to get 6 which is the last figure of the answer and that's all to it look how easy it becomes see how far the numbers are below 10 subtract one number's deficiency from the other number and multiply the deficiencies together for example 7 multiplied by 6 equals 42 here there's a carry the one in the 12 goes over to make 3 into 4 here's how to use vertically and crosswise for multiplying numbers close to 100 suppose you want to multiply 88 by 98 is that easy oh not so easy you might think but with vertically and crosswise you can give the answer immediately using the same method as above both 88 and 98 are close to 100 88 is 12 below 100 and 98 is 2 below 100 you can imagine the sum set out like this as before the 86 comes from subtracting crosswise which is 88 Minus two, which equals eighty-six, or ninety-eight minus twelve, which equals eighty-six. You can subtract either way; you will always get the same answer. And the twenty-four in the answer is just twelve multiplied by two. You multiply vertically, so eighty-eight multiplied by ninety-eight equals eight thousand six twenty-four. ekadhikena purvena the sutra ekadhikena purvena means by one more than the previous one a quick way to square numbers that end in 5 using the formula by one more than the one before for instance the question equals 102 and the remainder being 1 shunyam samya samukhe the sutra shunyam samya samukhe says the samukhya is the same that samukhya is zero that is it should be equated to zero the term samukhya has several meanings under different contexts we interpret samukhya as a term which occurs as a common factor in all the terms concerned and proceed as follows for example in the given equation 7x plus 3x equals 4x plus 5x 
which has the same factor x in all the terms. Hence, by the sutra, it is zero. That is, x equals zero. Otherwise, we have to work like this. 7x plus 3x equals 4x plus 5x, which is 10x equals 9x and 10x minus 9x equals 0 therefore x equals 0 this is applicable not only for x but also any such unknown quantity as follows Anurupye Sunyamanya the sutra Anurupye Sunyamanya says if one is in ratio the other one is zero we use this sutra in solving a special type of simultaneous simple equations in which the coefficients of one variable are in the same ratio to each other as the independent terms are to each other in such a context the sutra says the other variable is zero from which we get two simple equations in the first variable which is already considered and of course gives the same value for the variable for example 3x plus 7y equals 2 and 4x plus 21y equals 6 observe that the y coefficients are in the ratio 7 is to 21 which is 1 is to 3 same as the ratio of independent terms that is 2 is to 6 which is 1 is to 3 hence the other variable x